and welcome to October's Year of Flowers. Actually, today feels a bit balmy to be saying October in both ways. We're now at that point of the season where it's, it's tipping over and it's more about what we're doing in the gardens and we're just harvesting the last of the seasonal flowers. So this month we've got, obviously, our beautiful dahlias and we're just relishing cutting those before we get those first big frosts that kill all the dahlias and blacken the leaves and we need to lift them and then together with the dahlias we have a few chrysanthemums some beautiful autumnal foliage and then pieces like cosmos and persicaria Welcome to October in the studio um, with our flower delivery. Um, the flowers really are giving out their absolute everything until um, the first frosts and this will be uh, your last full flower delivery for the year. Um, so we're going to make the most of them. Although there is a kind of bitter sweetness um, to arranging with these kinds of flowers because you sort of know that it really is everything's coming to an end it is also my favorite time of the year to arrange with flowers because you just you just have everything you've got the best of everything you've got the most delicious kind of like buttery foliage things are starting to you know get a bit flea bitten and crinkled and brown but it, just the mottled textures on the leaves i just it's, it's beautiful and you know this lovely um the, ch the Chinese lanterns and you know you're getting some that are really turning this laced texture and then the others are still really vibrant and colourful and the flowers are just pumping it out just to kind of try and um, get themselves pollinated ahead of the first frosts um, so yeah <laughs> anyway so as always um, hopefully you're feeling really confident about your arranging now that we've taken you through an entire flower season um, of arranging but as always with a vase arrangement I would just start with a framework of foliage and then we'll weave the flowers into that later so I'm gonna start with some bigger pieces of foliage this, down. this is quite a nice piece because it will actually create a framework very very quickly um, lots of sort of strength and structure within that
I've basically just taken what was left in the bucket and I've arranged it into this one I sort of feel is just a really nice mix of foliage with some cosmos and the lovely persicaria and the vabascum and I, the, the foliage base here will just keep going and they'll just dry up and I would literally just remove the flowers and then I'll just keep this going and you know you can cut a stem from the garden to add to it or in fact just appreciate it as it is. And then I've got this lovely jolly little vase here which makes me very happy. I just, Cosmos just are the happiest flowers, you know? Just like little happy faces and you know as we always say you would never just get one stem of Cosmos from us, you'd always get um, the multiple buds on each stem because they don't last long, they are so short lived as soon as they've opened and they've been pollinated they, they drop their petals but immediately they will be followed on so this little vase you know these ones will go over quite quickly but you'll you know, leave it long enough and the, the next lot will carry on opening which is lovely and then lastly I mean really I don't think I need to say anything else I just think there is so much beauty in putting a single stem into a bud vase, that's all you need, and particularly of a dahlia, because you could just spend hours staring at the kind of mathematical perfection of the way a dahlia emerges. 